Hello friends today we will start a very interesting chapter name is physiological process of life the physiological process of life divided into five sub units they are first plant physiology second respiration third nutrition fourth circulation and fifth excretion plant physiology let's start the plant physiology start in photosynthesis process when you talking about the green plants and the photosynthesis the first questions in comes our mind that is what is photosynthesis and the answer is This is the process by which plant use sunlight, carbon dioxide and water to make food. This process is known as photosynthesis. The term photosynthesis was introduced by scientist Bernays in the year of 1898. The word photosynthesis comes from the Greek language. Photos means light. and synthesis means putting together togetherly it comes on photosynthesis next the site of photosynthesis photosynthesis occurs all the green parts of the plants or chlorophyll containing parts like leaves stipules green bracts stipules thalamus etc the mesophyll tissue within the leaves is the main site of photosynthesis In this photo you can understood how photosynthesis occur from the sunlight taking carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and the root by water it process going on site of photosynthesis chloroplast is the place where the photosynthesis occur photosynthesis occur in the following parts of the chloroplast is a grana and stomata the beside photo you can see the parts of a photosynthesis of an chloroplast in this picture we can see the green plants and their parts the components of photosynthesis the photosynthesis process has a four major components they are a carbon dioxide b water c chlorophyll and d sunlight glucose and oxygen are the end product of the photosynthesis process by in this picture we can understood how photosynthesis occur from the atmosphere plants taking carbon dioxide from the sun is taking sunlight and by the root of the plant taking water and they make prepare a glucose food and releasing oxygen to the atmosphere the chemical equation of photosynthesis is 6 co2 plus 6 h2o chlorophyll sunlight and C6H12O6 plus 6O2 In the photosynthesis process sunlight carbon dioxide and water are the reactants and oxygen or glucose are the end products Now let's talk about briefly about the components and their uses and their roles in photosynthesis So the first component is carbon dioxide source and importance of components first carbon dioxide it is one of the raw materials required for photosynthesis in this process the six moles of carbon dioxide are utilized to produce one mole of glucose source of carbon dioxide atmospheric carbon dioxide are the main source of co2 for terrestrial plants and for aquatic plants they directly absorb the dissolved co2 from the water next the role of carbon dioxide first carbon dioxide is most important or essential raw material of photosynthesis second carbon dioxide atmospheric carbon dioxide is utilized in preparation of glucose note that without carbon dioxide photosynthesis is not possible 
Next, the very important component of the photosynthesis is water. Let's talk about it. Earth has 70% of water and 30% of land. In this 70% of water, most of the saline water, I mean ocean water, 97%. Only 3% of water are fresh water on the earth. Out of fresh water, less than 1% are available for consumption for human beings. Most water in the earth's atmosphere and the crust comes saline water and fresh water. The ocean that covers roughly 70% of the area of the earth's reflected blue light, the earth appears blue from the space and it is often referred as a blue planet. Next, the source of water. Water is the another most important component for photosynthesis. Plants absorb the groundwater through their roots. Note, 12 mole of water are required for photosynthesis of 1 mole of glucose. The showing river water as a source of water, which can help in the photosynthesis process. Next, the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll forms in a chloroplast, which is a green pigment of a plant. Chlorophyll. It is a green pigment of plant. Due to chlorophyll, plants are green. Role of chlorophyll. The role of chlorophyll in photosynthesis is A. Absorb of carbon dioxide. B. Absorb of sunlight. C. Absorb of light and photochemical decomposition of water. And D. Absorb of water. And next is sunlight. Source of sunlight. Sun is the main source of sunlight. The terrestrial planet can directly receive sunlight but the aquatic plants receive sunlight after it is reflected in water. Role of sunlight. Sunlight has a very important job in photosynthesis. Plants can survive without it. In the leaves of a plant are very important organelles called chloroplast. Within the chloroplast, the specialized pigment molecules called chlorophylls. Chlorophylls can absorb light and turn it into chemical energy that plants can use. Process of Photosynthesis The process of photosynthesis can take place in six steps. That is how. First, plants draw up H2O from the root. Second, the leaves take CO2 from air. Third, the leaves trap energy from sunlight. Fourth, turn water and carbon dioxide into sugar and oxygen. Fifth, the plant releases oxygen into the air. And sixth, the plant uses the sugar for their growth. Mechanism of Photosynthesis In 1905, Blackman divided the mechanism of photosynthesis into two sequential stages. That's are first, the light-dependent reaction, and the second, the light-independent reaction. The light-dependent reaction is known as light reaction, and the light-independent reaction is known as a dark reaction. In the next video, we are briefly discuss about light phase, dark phase and their significance. Till then, stay safe, stay connected, keep learning and see you in next video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends.